Hello, Leo. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you are new here, hello. My name is Eric. It is wonderful to meet you. And if you are returning, what is up, guys? All right, Leo. So this is your general energy reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. This is a timeless reading. There are no dates associated with this reading, so this could resonate for you at any moment in your life. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and this resonates for you, Leo, then that's the message for you in that moment. Keep in mind, guys, this is also a general reading. This is not necessarily going to resonate for everyone. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list some of the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all set up there. Please make sure to follow us over on Patreon if you're interested in becoming a member, if you would like to support the channel and get some extra content with me throughout the month that is not that does not show up here on on YouTube including potentially a uh, uh, discount on your personal readings depending on which tier you subscribe to yeah check us out over on patreon patreon.com slash divine conversations the link to that can be found in the description box below and as always please make sure to like share comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already yeah leo all right babe let's get into this for my leo sun moon rising venus and north node last shuffle Let's see what we've got for you, Leo. What's going on? I'm seeing yellow energy for you. That's a good thing. Action oriented. Um, you're some of you are coming out of a hermit mode. Uh, you're coming out of a time in which you were really hibernating. You were really. I'm hearing you were trying to catch your breath. Uh, you may have been doing a lot of a lot of healing over this time. Um, physical healing, mental healing, emotional healing. That's entirely possible. Um, but you're coming out. Hello, Jinx. My cat wants to come inside, but she's going to have to wait because I'm busy. Um, <laughs> figures she wants to come inside. She's making herself known during the Leo reading. That's cute. Um, okay, Leo. All right. This is not bad. This is good. Trying to catch your breath, but you're, you're, you're coming back into an action oriented period. What's going on for Leo at this time? Please, Spirit, what messages do we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Ten of Swords is the first card out. Okay, that's enough right there. We've got the Ten of Swords. We've got the King of Wands reversed. We've got the Four of Swords here. And then we have the Four of Wands in reverse. This is interesting. Overall energy is the Five of Wands. Mm -hmm. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna focus. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna focus there. Oh, there we go. The Five of Wands. Okay. Um, first of all, Leo, the, the King of Wands would represent you technically. Okay, so this is describing the energy. Aha, 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 aha. Okay, the Five of Wands is the energy of that, is that yellow energy that I was seeing for you. I feel like, Leo, you are in a time period of trying to redefine yourself, trying to reshape your foundation, trying to, uh, you're realigning yourself. You're not, you, either you have been or you are, okay? The energy that I'm seeing here, the cards here are describing this time period for you in which you have been reshaping, remolding, redefining yourself, figuring out how it is you want to move forward, figuring out what it is you want to move forward towards, what it is you want to pursue. King of Wands in reverse. Like I said, Leo, this was a time period that was induced or was catalyzed by some sort of difficult situation that came to an end. This feels like a life-changing circuit. Well, I didn't necessarily say that, but I'm saying that now. This was some sort of life-changing circumstance for you, Leo. It was very difficult. Uh, it was very hard for you to deal with. It was a very rough situation. But actually, what I'm feeling for this, Leo, is that it was very eye-opening. It's gotten you, it's caused you to change course somehow. And I don't feel like this change in, in, your, in your direction, in your life is really all that bad. I feel like you gained a level of perspective here that's helping you to 
redefine yourself, but some of the ways that you are potentially redefining yourself or the, some of the ways that you're looking to redefine yourself, Leo, feel very relieving. Maybe it's because it's allowing you to get closer or get down to a greater sense of reciprocity or authenticity. That's the word I'm looking for. Authenticity, okay? The five of wands energy as your overall energy is not bad. It's literally you just trying to work the situation out. And I do feel like with this four of swords here, you're keeping, you're trying to keep yourself as calm as possible. I'm not going to sit here and say that there don't feel, that it doesn't feel like there are certain twinges of panic slightly or just like concern, I guess I could say, um, because you're, you're not really sure where you are headed. Some of you are really concerned with time. Do I have enough time to figure this all out and still keep myself afloat? Yes. Don't worry about time. Leo. Okay. Don't worry about timing at all. Um, really just focus on allowing the energies to work themselves out within you. Okay. The universe will provide for you. Time is an illusion. Don't worry about the timing of anything. The universe has the timing under control for you. Okay. This may seem daunting, Leo, but actually this, this feels very good because I feel like However it is you are redefining your life right now, you're getting into a greater alignment with yourself. There is a lot of external opinion or external influence that is being shed from you right now, shed from your life, shed from your psyche, shed, shed from your realm of influence. And now you're getting down to a more authentic version of you, a more authentic path forward for you, okay? I want to talk about this Ten of Swords. Clarify this Ten of Swords for Aries. Not for Aries. I'm so sorry, Leo. I just did Aries reading. But to be honest with you, some of you may have an Aries placement. Okay? So keep that in mind. But Ten of Swords for Leo, please. Clarify the Ten of Swords for Leo. This is a good thing, Leo. Page of Swords. Okay. The worst is over. The worst is behind you. And now you get to seek something new. King of Cups. Anything else? No. All right. Oh, my goodness. And then the magician is at the bottom of the deck. Hold on a second. I'm going to let my cat in. Okay. Sorry about that. So, um, even though you guys really didn't, <laughs> you didn't notice a time lapse, but that's okay. So, the Ten of Swords, Leo, is clarified by the Page of Swords, the King of Cups, and the magician. So, again, the worst is behind you, Leo. And now, and I, and I really want to say, you have absolutely matured from this whatever this experience has been for you and what i'm hearing just ch generally channeling for that is life experience okay it may have seemed like your life has taken some sort of detour leo but that's really not the case um whatever it is that you've experienced even if it seems wildly out of character or like you you took some crazy ridiculous wrong term wrong turn and ended up found yourself in some distant land in which you have no idea how you're going to get back everything happens for a reason it's all in divine alignment everything that you've experienced in terms of this 10 of swords energy has put you in the position that you need to be in at this moment in your life you have matured greatly through all of this. And so now as a result, the ten, from the Ten of Swords, now you get to look off into the distance. Page of Swords, King of Cups. You get to search for or seek something that's much better for you. And now that you're in this much more mature energy with this King of Cups, I really want to say you have an idea or you have a better understanding of what it is you need to look for for this new chapter in your life because you and I, I'm looking at the the um the, the magician now at the bottom of the deck um uh, it's like it's like you are way more motivated to manifest and not only just manifest but manifest what is truly right for you um maybe this ten of swords energy was a catalyst in terms of you finally getting down to or the universe or these situations breaking you down to where now you are only going to focus on manifesting exactly what is right for you or exactly what it is you want, what you want to express, what you want to manifest, what you, how you want your life to be. 
okay? There is a level of determination with this magician energy, this, this ma manifestation energy to get something better or for something that is truly right for you. And it is that Ten of Swords circumstance or energy or experience that you've been through that's helped put you in alignment with this, okay? So with that said, I want to look at the King of Wands for you in reverse now. And also, Leo, recognize that the King of Wands officially represents Leo. Now, the king, all, any of the court cards could represent any of the fire signs or any of the signs that they, uh, of the element that they correspond to. But typically, the kings represent the fixed signs. So this King of Cups would, would represent Scorpio. King of Pentacles would represent Taurus. King of Swords would represent Aquarius. King of Wands would represent you, Leo. But what I'm getting, so so yes, you are you are showing up in this reading as yourself. However, your drive forward seems to be on pause or on hold right now. There is very there is a very mature energy for you coming through with this. You don't want to just move forward blindly, all willy nilly. Okay, you want to make sure that you have your direction, your traject, your trajectory in full focus and at least you have enough of an understanding of it so that you can start to take the steps before this king of wands energy gets activated right now you're sitting in the king of cups energy you're being very emotionally balanced very emotionally mature dealing with whatever it is you need to deal with so that you can figure out what it is you need to do moving forward you're allowing your spirit you're allowing your heart you're allowing your emotions to guide you forward here which is a very wise thing for you to do because your emotions are your compass okay positive emotions tell you this is very much like the chariot energy right positive emotions tell you where you're going and uh, tell you that you're going in the right direction. Negative emotions tell you that you're going in the wrong direction and you need to change focus, okay? So this is where you're focused right now. But let's get some clarity on this King of Wands energy. Clarify the King of Wands for Leo, please. First card is strength. There you are again. So you are really Yo, Leo, you are really showing up for yourself. Really showing up for yourself, okay? Especially not only in this reading here. Come on, focus, thank you. Not only in this reading, but also in your life. You're keeping your ego at bay, okay? You're handling things. You're focused on what is truly right for you. Instead of allowing your ego to just run amok here, you're saying, no, no, we're only going to move forward with that which is truly proper or meant for us. Beautiful. Clarify the King of Wands in reverse, please. Wow, Leo. Wow, Leo. Jinx, what are you doing, you little troublemaker? Overall energy. Okay, okay, see, look, we're back to the five of wands at the bottom of the deck, Leo, okay? Um, yeah, so this is literally you, you literally trying to work out what the next assignment is for you or what the next path is for you or what the what's the next thing you want to commit to what's the next project you want to get off the ground what is the next thing you want to start in your life what is the next thing you want to commit to you are holding your ego at bay you are really listening to the universe here you do feel like something new is coming forward for you Okay, you have a new path, you have a new goal, you have a new form of expression, you have something new that you want to commit to, that you want to start to build, to grow, to get off the ground, but you're not going to be activating this active King of Wands determined energy until you've worked out what that is for you. Okay, what that is for yourself. Understand, Leo, that timing is the universe's job. Okay, do not worry about the timing. Do, yes, you will be taken care of. Yes, your bills will be continued to be paid. Yes, you will still be able to put a roof over your head and put some food on the table. You will still be able to care for yourself as you work through this energy. Just focus on working it out, figuring it out for yourself. And meditation is a really excellent way to do this, Leo. Okay, meditation brings answers, four of swords here, yes? All right, last thing that I wanna look at for you at this time is the four of wands in reverse. So clarify the four of wands in reverse for Leo, please, Spirit. First card you have here is the two of cups. That's beautiful, okay. Okay, so 
a big part of this change in direction for you, Leo. Wow, look at all these kings. We're, we're ha we are at the Knight of Cups here. Um, and for those of you that do have an Aries placement, you might want to watch the Aries reading because the Knight of Cups was a big focus for the Aries reading, okay? Um, but if that, if that, if that strikes your fancy, even if you don't have an Aries placement, but me mentioning that, you know, triggers something in you or like strikes a chord in you, go ahead and watch that Aries reading. You'll probably get some good messages and good insight there for you. All right. Ooh, wee, whoa. Okay. Hold on. Wasn't expecting that. You have the two of cups, you have the king of pentacles and you have the devil here. <clears throat> Okay, well, let's start here. What I was originally going to say was with this four of wands in reverse, there's a new foundation, a new creative foundation that's coming online for you here. And this absolutely is because whatever it is you've experienced in your life up until now, uh, not Scorpio, why did I just want to say Scorpio? Interesting. I mean, I was talking about, okay. Okay, well, what I was referring to, what I was about to refer to, Leo, was this Ten of Swords energy. Whatever this Ten of Swords energy was for you, it's created a, created a massive transformation in your life. You might want to go and watch the Scorpio reading. That might resonate with you. Um, but also, this King of Cups is here, clarifying the Ten of Swords. And like I said earlier, the King of Cups would represent Scorpio. Scorpio also represents the energies of transformation, death and rebirth. There is absolutely a level of death and rebirth that is happening for you here, Leo. And it's this Two of Cups energy or this bond, this union between masculine and feminine energies within you that is central to this transformation that you are going through. And that is why your creative foundation in the Four of Wands or your sense of union within yourself is reversed or is being reshaped, is under construction, we will call, we will say. Because oftentimes I like to say the Four of Wands is an energy of, of constructing a house or building a house and you've got the foundation laid and poured and it's even dry, but you still have to wait for it to set or settle before you can build upon it, right? The Four of Wands is an energy of not resting on your laurels because you might be able to celebrate at this point, but there's still work to be done. Well, you're still reshaping this foundation. You are your, your foundation, your creative foundation, your spiritual foundation, your passionate foundation within you is under construction right now. And it's under construction from the energies, the better, the greater, the more beneficial, the grander alignment of the masculine and the feminine within you, the two of cups. But with that, you have the King of Pentacles and the Devil. There is something about physical reality, corporeal experience or existence that you just cannot escape, Leo. And that needs to be worked into this new foundation for yourself. This King of Pentacles is giving me a very practical energy. Okay, so maybe within your, and I am hearing finances. So may, maybe within this new creative foundation for you, Leo, there needs to be some sort of element of financial stability, financial awareness, physical. This could be financial. This could be just physical in terms of taking care of your body more, taking care of your body better. There's something about physical existence that just cannot be overlooked. You have, in some way, Leo, you have to work this into this new foundation that you're building for yourself. This King of Pentacles energy is making me feel like you're taking physical reality way more seriously. But in some cases, maybe you're taking it too seriously. So in some cases, for some of you, maybe it's the exact opposite. Because you also have the Knight of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, I am picking up on the fact that you have to take your finances much more seriously now as you move forward in life. Okay, there are certain elements surrounding financial reality or in, in, in order to really be this successful person that you want to be, you're going to have to take some, uh, some element of that a little more seriously. You just can't get around that. For others of you... 
you need to take physical reality a little less seriously and you need to start working with your heart more, Knight of Cups. And there's a level of innocence and the, uh, that coming through with this Knight of Cups because we already have the King of Cups here. But what I'm getting from the Knight of Cups is you need to be more connected with your inner child. You need to allow yourself to be more playful. Don't take physical reality so damn seriously anymore. And maybe that's an element of not taking yourself so seriously anymore either. Like that may have been a serious detriment to you in the past. You were taking your physical reality yourself way too seriously. And that could have been what tripped you up in the past. That could have been what led you down this path of destruction with the Ten of Swords. And maybe there was a level of ego destruction, ego dissolution. And now as you're rebuilding this foundation for yourself, do not allow this egoic sense of reality to be reworked into the situation so that you just find yourself back where you started, okay? All right, Leo, I want to get you closing oracle guidance. And actually, this guidance is going to come from the life purpose oracle for you. All right. Let's give this five shuffles. Closing oracle guidance for my Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node, please, spirit. Last shuffle. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Please, Spirit. There it is right there. <laughs> Look at this. Protected. You are safe and protected and supported, excuse me, while you change your career. Look at that. Look at that. I told you, Leo. I told you. Don't worry about time. However it is you're changing your life right now, you are protected throughout this, okay? All right. I'm going to read this card for you. Here we go. The angels reassure you that it's safe for you to make a career transition and that you'll be supported along the way, provided you listen to and follow your inner guidance. This card indicates that the time is ripe for you to make this change. Hold the intention that this change will allow you to bring more blessings into the world as an attitude of selfless service will, allot, will allay the ego's insecurities. The more you focus upon service, the less your ego will try to delay your happiness. You, like everyone, have a unique and much needed life purpose that awaits you with open arms. When you fully commit to helping others through your purpose, the doors of opportunity and support open wide. Your career transition will ride upon the smooth wings of the angels, as long as you're focused upon serving a higher good. Continue to call upon the angels for guidance, support, and protection throughout your manifestation. If you find yourself feeling insecure or nervous, put your entire focus on service. When you intend to serve a purpose, that's when your purpose will begin to serve you. Excellent, Leo. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I truly hope this was helpful for you. If you would like to get a, a, a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check for the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email. Let me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up there. Uh, if you would like to support the channel and or get more content with me throughout the month, including potentially uh, discounts on your personal readings, depending on which tier you subscribe to, 
Check us out on Patreon. Join the Unicorn Corn Herd, yeah? Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. Thank you to all of my current patrons. Without you guys, I would not be able to be here. I am so greatly appreciative of you. And as always, please make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. With that said, Leo, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.